Inviting all creatives, technical and actors to submit entries for this year's award ceremony which will be taking place on the 2nd of October this year. This will be a momentous fifth year milestone celebration of the awards showcasing and emphasizing the importance of storytelling in our lives. Submissions close on the 29th of July and to share more on who is eligible to submit we chat to the founder Winnie Chaba. Winnie, good to see you again. A very good morning to you. Welcome back to Morning Live. Good morning, Simpio. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Indeed, it's an absolute pleasure having you on the show this morning, Winnie. Now, the entries for this year's Royalty Awards are still open, so who can apply? Yes. Just take us through it. Every production, every uh, production that is on TV, on it daily, we are calling them daily TV dramas now, and we have this coming week as our last week, and we want to really just uh, emphasize on the producers and the production uh, teams that please submit, because we only saw traffic coming in on our on our portal last week, and we are now left with just five days. Please, 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 we cannot overemphasize this. It's important that they submit because what I have seen happening is a trend. Uh, most productions, they leave it to the last minute. Mm, and only mm. then when they realize that, oh my goodness, we're only left with three days and they only end up submitting only three actors in their shows. Gandhi shows have got 15, 16, 20 actors that are participating. They're all as important, mm, you know. Mm. So I want to encourage producers to submit all the people that are uh, making these shows beautiful because they all play an important part. They certainly do, Winnie. And uh, it's quite heartwarming to see, you know, the increased number of uh, new entrants uh, in, this, in, in this year's edition. And I know that uh, there's new productions which will be taking part. So for those new entrants uh, who might be wondering, what is it that you're looking for, you know, to crown the winners? You know, I, I always say we are not only about entertaining. Okay. We have a responsibility in shaping our society. So if you carry, if you're given a character, if you're given a story, you have to bear, it, bear in mind that you are representing a certain community, a certain a number of people that you are. You have to handle their story with care. So we are looking at the authentic, authenticity mm. of that person that is handling that, not only for the performance, uh, for the performers, but we're looking at the technical crews as well. I am excited to announce that because it's our five year a milestone this year. We have five new categories that we are also adding uh, this year. There is one that is very close to my heart, uh, Simpiwe. If I may quickly just talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so we have we have uh, outstanding cinematography that we have added. We have outstanding uh, uh, cast that is ensemble, and then we have an outstanding young performer. You know, we, we, in all these shows that are, are having families, there's these young ones that you have to wait for when you're shooting with them because mm. they are still at school, mm, mm. you know. But we felt it's, in, it's, it's not fair to mix them with the newcomers because in the newcomer category, you have people that have been in the industry who've been doing theater, who have experience, but they're just breaking out in the, in the TV soapy uh, genre and then they, they, they qualify to be uh, in the newcomers. But these ones, they are young in age, they are inexperienced, they're still juggling school with, with acting, and they managed to do it with so much ease. We felt it's important that we, we acknowledge them and celebrate them as well. And then we have two other more, uh, because we've, when we announced the nominees last year, we got so many inquiries, people asking, okay, now that they, we see our favorites are nominated, where do we vote? How do we vote? You know, and we only had one category open to the public. And uh, that was the most popular uh, show. Now we decided we are going to open, the, uh, uh, we have um, uh, viewers uh, choice, best mm -hmm. actor, meaning all the actors, the male actors that are nominated in your villain, in your lead, in your supporting, uh, in your newcomer, will then automatically be in that category. And the audience, the people that make this show, can then vote for their best. Okay. And, and, once, the entries, the and once the entries are closed, Winnie, what then happens? I mean, take us through the process and how soon after are the nominees announced? The nominees will be announced on the 1st of September. 
Okay. So once the entry is closed, it's the vetting, it's the judging, it's intense, and then and then the results from the judges get taken to uh, your audit firm to audit everything, and then we only announce um, uh, the nominees on the first of September. Then it's open to the public to vote for their for their best, for their most popular uh, soapy, and for their uh, uh, viewers choice actor and viewers choice actress, meaning. All the actresses that will be nominated in all the other categories will then uh, be open to the public to vote for them. And who sits on the board selecting the nominees? Sorry, oh, we have a, we have a panel of, of industry professionals okay. from your from your um, musicians, from your journalists, from your producers okay. who are obviously not in shows, from your channels. There's representatives from all the channels. It's it's almost everyone in the industry that is uh, uh, that has knowledge of our industry now when you started the awards five years ago you wanted to give recognition to creatives and i suppose this is working wonders and as you gave birth to this baby as you've seen the baby grow and as you've nurtured it and as you've seen creatives flourishing as a result of these awards are you at all impressed with the direction that these awards are taking winnie I am actually, as, if I'm looking at our industry, how it's growing. I mean, I miss COVID. We are saying this year, our theme is let's celebrate our shine. You know, stars shine brighter when it's dark. With this dark cloud hovering over our nation uh, with COVID and, and lo people losing their lives. We are saying the shows on TV have been on though. So we are still shining. Let's celebrate our shine. We are celebrating the people that are still working so tirelessly, making sure that South Africans are entertained, but also are educated with many uh, life issues that we, we face as communities. So, so I'm very, yeah. very proud. And uh, what's your analysis of the creative sector here in South Africa? And um, if you're not at all happy, what is it that you'd love to change if given the chance? I think um, we are getting there slowly but surely, but yeah. if our government can also just recognize us that as freelancers, but we also just uh, are, are, are playing a big role in shaping our society. You know, I, I, I said this even last year that it did hurt when, when the minister said we uh, freelancers were not considered when, mm, when COVID mm. first hit. And he said, we will only look at that after lockdown. We've been on lockdown since uh, last year, you know, but uh, we are speaking, we are not quiet, we are speaking, we will change it, but it has to filter from the top. I think if our president can really just recognize us and see the role that we are playing in, in, in shaping our society. I mean, speaking about that, we introduced a, a, a social cohesion recognition award last year, where we, we gave honor to a show that was tackling issues that was just really imperative that we speak about last year. That was a, a gender-based violence. And Khedrot Met Rugby had a beautiful story, intense storyline, which we believe that the audience got really educated. And we're opening that up again. We, say we still have so much that we, we need to cover in the shows. We are not only about entertainment. We are not crazy people. So if our government can really just take us seriously because we really do matter. What I like, Winnie, is the theme that is always carried in these awards because it's a, it's a reflection of what's happening around us and what's happening in society. And uh, it is a call to action for the powers that be to address those issues. So what theme are you carrying this yes. year? We are celebrating our shine. Okay. We're saying, as though it may seem dark, it's gloomy, but we are, we are shining. Let's Indeed. celebrate it because television has been on. There's never been one moment in people where we said, okay, there is no show to watch. There's nothing on TV. We've been there keeping families sane, keeping everyone uh, together during these uncertain times that we found ourselves in. All so right. we are celebrating our time. Remind us again where creatives can send their entries and the deadlines thereof. Uh, royaltysa.com that's our website we are we had said we are closing on the 29th 
which is Thursday. But most production companies <laughs> have asked that we extend it to Fridays, the 30th. So we've listened because, I mean, without submissions, what's the point? So we are urging everyone who is still due to submit to use this week. And we have up until Friday, the 30th of July, submit as many of your, of your performers as possible, as many of your technical categories and creative categories as possible. It is important. Ah, oh, really great chatting to you. It's always a pleasure, uh, you know, having you join us this, uh, this morning. And remember what I told you this time last year, that the Royalty Soapy Awards are the next Oscar Awards. And uh, please keep that in mind. <laughs> please keep that in mind. And I'm still saying that given, uh, judging from the level of interest that has been leveled to these uh, Royalty, Royalty Soapy Awards, and uh, yeah, the kind of excitement that people have uh, towards the Royalty Soapy Awards. So please continue Yay. being the shining star and being the driving force of this baby. Great chatting to you, Winnie. All the you. best. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Great Bye. stuff. The Royalty Soapy Awards acknowledges the extensive role that soapies play within society and aims to nurture and grow talent by creating a standard of excellence for the soapy industry and recognizing and awarding those who excel. We just spoke to the founder, Winnie Chaba.